Hi, hello, how are things? My name is CR Black and I built a fairy forest slash lumber mill for three fairies that I created in Creative Sim not too long ago. This was sort of inspired by the Brazen Lotus foraging mod where you're able to go to different uh, debug trees and bushes and forge wood and then she also has a modded woodworking station where you can then use that wood as an ingredient for the woodworking station to craft items which I really just love that idea whenever I can add like more crafting to my game I always just jump right on it. I wanted to create a magical place since every sim isn't going to have time in my game to forge wood so they can just come here and buy wood and that's like becomes an interactive part of my game. Great like these little shops and stores that my sims kind of have to go through for their daily routine and to keep their like lives going. I used a lo-fi music video as the for the basis of how I really wanted it to look like. At first I was thinking about Shrek 2. I could have sworn the fairy godmother factory was colorful like this. This is how I saw the factory, the fairy godmother factory in my mind. But when I went back and looked up the clip, it was just a industrial factory that wasn't really that magical at all. It just had different colors of smoke coming out the fireplace, which I would love a mod that makes the fireplace turn, the smoke turn different colors. I was thinking it would be really cool to take gems and be able to burn them and like for energy or just to change the mood of everybody in the room or in the house. That would be really cool. The best part of the factory from Shrek 2 was the smoke. So, And you know what? I also would like a Omni plant from The Sims 3 to be brought into The Sims 4 because that would be cool too if you could feed an Omni plant uh, gems and then it would grow gems. I don't know. I was just trying to think of things that would make this place a little more like fairy-like but I did the best I could with what I had. And I ended up just putting a bunch of mushrooms everywhere. And now that I have the base mental drugs mod in my game, I think I'm gonna be putting some psychedelic mushrooms everywhere. Cause I feel like fairies would be into that. Um, but yeah, all you really need to know is that there's three Sims who live here. They're all fairies. I plan on downloading the fairy mod and really uh, playing that through and seeing what that's all about. And this is in Hinford and Bagley. And I plan to build like a whole fairy neighborhood kind of around them as well as an occult university um somewhere in here which i'm very excited about but not to jump too far ahead this is what i'm building now and um, i hope you like it because i really like the way it turned out and i'll be popping in and out just to talk about a couple more things i want to mention I like this detail of the awning that I put under the house a little bit. Um, I wanted to add as much wood as possible. Like whenever I saw something with a little bit of, even this fireplace has a wooden shelf on it because I wanted to it to be kind of like their thing, their woodland earth-like fairies. Even though I do think I went a little overboard with the earth tones, which I'll probably talk about later because I had to kind of go back and fix it because it was looking way too dark. Um, on the inside, but the outside, I think I did a good job of making sure it was bright and colorful because that's what I think when I think of fairies. It's what adds like the whimsy. If everything's all dark and grim, it just, it makes it look like a witch's house and that wasn't what the vibe I was going for. I adore this open windows CC that I have. It gave me the thought it would be great in The Sims if you could open and close windows. This video is just becoming like my wish list for <laughs> my wish list for this game that I've been playing for like 10 years at this point. So I probably should just accept it for how it is. But wouldn't it be cool if there was like Sims 5 or Project Renee or whatever, if you could open and close the windows, wouldn't that be just like a little cute feature? And it could maybe you can change their mood and they're letting air in. I don't know. I was just thinking about that. But as for now, I do have my little CC windows where it looks like the window is open, which they're in, in my head, they're in like a really secluded area. So if they left doors open and windows open, it wouldn't really matter. It's not something that the average person will just stumble upon. You just kind of have to be in the know to find the fairy forest, you know? This enlarged uh, fireplace uh, chimney 
that I put in there is probably my favorite part. I think it really brought the build together as far as it looking um, a, like more whimsical and like cutesy. Um, that's kind of more, uh, more so what I was going for. I had to struggle with the little water windmill, um, but it was worth it. I think it really brings the whole build together. And if I could get different colored smoke to come out all three of those spouts, it would be perfect. Um, I don't know how to do that, but it would be perfect. Now that I'm watching it back, I wonder if I should have put open windows upstairs because my whole idea at first was that because they're fairies, they shouldn't really need stairs. I was imagining them like flying around the house and in and out the windows. I know that's not possible even if I added the mod, but um, wouldn't it be cute? <laughs> I know everything I build is um, that functional to be honest, but sometimes I want to be unreasonable. I don't know why. I think I initially made this room way too dark and I had to go back and lighten it up. I wanted to do forest fairy vibes, but then I started to get a witch living in the woods sort of vibes. I now understand that there's a thin line between forest fairy and woodland witch, but I had to learn the hard way. I think I've tried to use this weird wood barrier so many times in my Sims playing life, and I don't know why I never thought to use the tool mod to submerge that bottom part. It's on the bottom floor. I don't have to worry about it sticking out of the ceiling. So I had to go back and add a bunch of color, flowers, gems to brighten everything up but I was getting a little frustrated at first and I had to leave this build and come back to it I think after like two weeks or so. I'm glad I took a moment to step away from it because it was looking kind of creepy and I needed to I needed the whimsy to come out, not the creepy. I did end up creating a magical witch broom section, but more so the idea that the fairies like pick the wood and craft the brooms with their magic. So in their woods is like a specialized magical wood and then all my spellcasters come here and buy their wands and buy their brooms. I'm always trying to create things in my game that makes my sims interact with the world around them instead of going to random stalls and rabbit holes because stuff like that takes me out of it. Unless it's like high school because then I really don't care if they go to a rabbit hole, me personally. Um, the rabbit hole, the high school rabbit hole can go off sis, that's all you. All these high school builds are insane and I could not deal with that. Um, I love looking at them but I could not do it. Because I put so many outside decorations on the house, I had to go into the rooms and hide everything with walls which made everything cozier and I think that it works since they're forest fairies they probably spend a lot of time outside and I wouldn't dare call anything cottage core since I'm not completely sure what that means and at this point I think it's too late to ask but the smaller rooms makes everything look really cozy and lovely because they're nice fairies maybe like slightly mischievous because if you're a fairy you have to be like a little messy but they're mostly nice sweet like forest fairies. I added some shelves. I wanted this shelf held by twine in here and it allowed me to add some color to this room as well. Since I already had brooms, I needed some wands for sale. And if I haven't already said this, I do I do all of this with Ravishing Celebration mod that I use a lot. Like I love businesses and creating like little businesses in my game. So that mod um, like freaking saved my life because the Sims 4 retail system is not it. I know uh, Carl just made a fix the dine out system um, and I really really hope the retail system is up next because that would be awesome. I would love that.
I'm going to reorganize these shelves. I really enjoy restocking a location in my game and not just using build by. I want them to forage and to build items on the woodworking station and then put those items for sale. I mean, it's my truly my favorite thing to do. My favorite pack ever to ever be created by the Sims franchise is is open for business in The Sims 2. So that's what I um that's what I structure a lot of my gameplay around. Right now I'm making a video of me stalking my medieval village. So if there's anybody else with my very strange specific Sims interests of running businesses, maybe you like that video as well. Pole is a little ugly. I don't know what happened and I don't know how to fix it. I think I was trying to do something with the lighting. Truly, I couldn't tell you. Looking at it now, I think I should have put more plants down here, but also you can't hide everything with plants here, come on. For my Moonwood Underground video, I made an underground oasis right before this, so I think maybe I didn't want to repeat that anyway. And I and also I probably didn't want to do that just because sometimes I'm lazy and I don't want to do things. Oh gosh, I kept this dining room in because I thought it was kind of funny and kind of sad, but I tried to do this whole fountain in a forest eating area and I think this looks beautiful. I like the greenery and the roses against the wall, how the different shades of green complement this red from the flowers. I, the rug and the table centerpiece with the overhead lights, I think it brings it all together. Uh, too bad my game crashed and all this was lost. And I knew it would only frustrate me to try to recreate the same thing exactly, so I just try to do something new. Watching it back, I like the first way I did it way better, but alas, it was lost in the unsaving of it all. Alas. I went back and forth with this library set. I think it's from the Get Famous pack and it it is like this fake set, but I think it adds a lot to the build and I was able to put trees and shrubs around it to hide the little metal grating. And I'm realizing now that I don't think I ever put a bookcase out there, but I am going to put a like a, at least some sort of object where they can get books from and maybe add a couch as well. So it's just like this functional outdoor library. There's something that feels very fairy-ish about that to me. And I love the way the stone is broken off. Um, I'm really glad that I added that and I didn't chicken out when it came to that. And I definitely needed a lot of bushes to cover the metal that's behind the set, but I'm really happy with it. Uh, finishing one bedroom and then starting this one is really when I started to lose confidence. I really wanted to use this bed sheet and it was so different from everything I've already done. I felt like this design would appear jarring in comparison to the other rooms. Like there wasn't a nice flow and it doesn't help that the bed is quite modern. 
It kind of looks like a college dorm comforter that you would see at Target, but I thought I could make it work. And I thought I could make this room really colorful, but then I was thinking, well, that shouldn't make it stand out from the rest of the house. I must have done something wrong in the way I designed the rest of the house. This whole house is supposed to be colorful and fairy-like. So this is where I took that step away and my goal was to come back and add more light throughout. I added a glass roof and then I added more color through flowers I put into the kitchen and the bottom floors. The pool is still ugly though, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't touch the pool. <laughs> Okay, I came back to this room. This room is Taraji's room. She is just very beautiful and artsy and she's also gonna probably um, do a lot of the woodworking as well. I gave her this over here with a large mirror. I gave her a little vanity station. Um, I'm a little sad that she can't really use it but I don't know, maybe I could have her sit there and journal some days. I also really like the way this green rug, how the way it contrasts with the purple in here. Behind the bed, I kind of tried a couple of things out. There's this shield I was trying and some paintings, but um, ultimately I tried to do like a mirror wall behind it. I've seen these kind of like mirror walls on Pinterest and mirror vanities. I thought it would look really cute and whimsical behind her bed. I think it looks beautiful. It came out better than I could even plan. Uh, of course with some help from the tool mod that definitely really helped me resize and move the mirrors up and down. And then she has a uh, like a <laughs> and then she has like a fuck ton of plants everywhere. And then here is the top floor. I was gonna have Tien, this be his room up here. I think I ended up, oh, I upsized these books. It looks a little ridiculous, but I like it. Those would be like giant books, but again, I just thought it would be cute and uh, like a different sort of vibe over here. Also, he has like the harp and I put like a violin and a guitar. I think I'm gonna have him also practice singing and be very much into music. I also like this tile and how the yellow in the tile matches the yellow of the bedspread, but still I think it gives it, I wanted to at least have one room with like a masculine energy, but without making everything like dark and brown and black, and I think I achieved that with this room. And this harp, it, it's just decor. I guess I should mention that because I do have some CC instruments, but 
um, this is just a CC decor object, but I've been putting it in like every build. I just think it adds a little something, um, especially with like the books and the harp. I think you get like a good sense of the personality of the sim that's in here. Right here I get started on, I have to say, my least favorite part, the landscaping, and I wanted this to look like a forest. Oh, right there I put like a leaf wall right there because there's two cars on the other side of that leaf wall, so I wanted to kind of create this little blockage so when you're within the fairy forest you don't see any cars any technology or anything like that um and i wanted to treat it kind of like a a, a portal where anybody on the other side of that leaf fence can't even see um in my imagination they can't see like the fairy forest it just looks like a regular forest to them and when you like step through the grass wall that's when you see like the magnificent forest if you have the magic that allows you to do that anyway that's just like my little uh universe inside my head whatever And I created these little cubes where Sims can, that where Sims who are visiting can come there and sleep there. And originally, I wanted something like they people would sleep in hammock in the trees. You can't really do that in The Sims, so this was the closest I could kind of get to this idea I had in my head. The fairy forest is going to be a place on my map where my when my medieval Sims are traveling. This is going to be one of the rest stops where they can lay their head and get some food. So. These little pods are kind of like little hotel rooms um, that Sims can kind of sleep in for the night and with all the trees around it's super covered and it looks really dense and it's going to be a great place for Sims to like sleep and know that they'll be like safe and protected by the magic of the fairies. All right, you can see kind of from this like top view how dense i made this you know i mean god bless anybody's computers god bless my computer you know i would i would say i would not maybe recommend this slot if you don't have a computer that's going to be able to handle all of this um landscaping um you know like feel free if anybody downloads it to like delete maybe 40 percent of the shrubbery but you know, for like what I was going for, I still, I really like it. We have a couple of the fairy trees that I think come with the game. They're just like these beautiful glowing mushroom trees. Um, I have some CC trees and uh, a lot of wildflowers that I have. Mushrooms, of course. Um, I did like some lavender bushes and I just tried to create a sort of path towards the house so it was a little strategic in placements but mostly i was just like placing stuff like crazy it made it actually really difficult for my for me to get a screenshot because i like at this point you can no longer see the house like really feels like this hidden magical place I ended up adding these little lights and orbs. They come from the realm of magic. Um, I can't remember where I saw this. I was looking at other um, fairy stuff for inspiration on YouTube and I'm so sorry, I cannot remember where I saw this, but I saw these little lights being used and I thought I would add this to like everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, these little lights. I was actually going to also like lift them and put them in the trees but then I was like oh that's doing too much. I think I did a couple but it was like a lot. 
and I had to like restrict myself actually. Oh, and I put down some garden plot so they can grow some more mushrooms. And oh, and these lights inside the trees. And yeah, I also did a little walkthrough to talk about some other stuff and give like a better visual guide through the house. So I'll go into that uh, right now. All right, so sorry that it's raining. MC Command is kind of like sick of me, I guess, because it will no longer turn off the rain for me. And every time I do a walkthrough, it's raining. But I definitely wanted to wait till it was nighttime to get all these nice little fairy lights that I put everywhere. And these are all like debug items from Realm of Magic, these little orbs that light up really nice. And then this is the outside of the build. Oh, and over here you can see like the little water meal. I also like the little wheelbarrow. And the swings, the swings work. I just got done playtesting this house. I did have to move a couple of things around. Oh, and the lights I put in some of the trees over there. And over here, I thought I put some frogs in the water. Oh yeah, I can see the little tadpoles. And some fish. So yeah, so far looking good. This is already, I have noticed. Oh, look at that tree, how it lights up. I have already noticed that this will be a very difficult house to play. Um, one, I mean, I wouldn't recommend this for anybody's computer because it's like a lot of trees a lot. I don't recommend it for my computer, but here we are. And um, everything's also really tight and cozy in the actual house. Here we go. This is going to be our little um, woodworking shop. Everything's so tight and cozy around the house where it's just, you know, you have to play with walls down uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, here we are. This is going to be our little woodworking shop. I plan to make this part house, part store. store where they can sell little items so I can make it like an integral part of my medieval gameplay so people can come over here and buy wood from the Brazen Lotus mod. I think Brazen Lotus is still updating some of their mods. Um, oh. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll fix that later. Um, yeah, Brazen Lotus is still updating some of their mods, but they have a foraging mod and uh, I want some of my sims just to be able to come here and buy wood if I don't have time to have them foraging for wood and then they can use that with their woodworking. I have a smaller one over there, but this is the one they used as a laundry hamper. That's some cool CC that I have. Um, over here, we're going to have like the little magical section. Uh, they're going to be able to, I don't know if I have anything yet that crafts brooms, but they have brooms over here. I definitely have um, a mod for crafting wands, so we're going to set, my idea was to set the wands up on these little shelves over here, as well as like this one. Okay. Other stuff. Oh, there's a bush in the wall. I guess I am going to have to fix some things. No? You won't let me? Okay, that's better. There's no bush in the hall. Here we're gonna turn the corner to the kitchen. Uh, we have some shelves with some cute stuff. I really like this wallpaper. This stove? I honestly, I think I had the um, Realm of Magic stove in here. I do like the Realm of Magic stove better, but I feel like I overuse that stove a lot. So I do have this other medieval stove that I wanted to um just for something different mostly got some stuff on top of the fridge and i think is there another no that's everything oh and i got my um i don't know when the last time i showed this but oh there goes one of the fairies um i got a ceiling replacement to make the ceilings a little darker and i really love it all right got some little misc items on the counter here it might be easier to see some stuff some corn and we got some berries on the top shelf. Yeah, all this stuff. It's really cute. Oh, I love all these little jars. This is a Brazen Lotus replacement. 
All right, with a little shell. I did have to move these milk bottles over here. And the weirdest thing is happening. They keep like putting dishes into the milk bottles. So I don't know if it's like a hidden dishwasher. I don't think so. I can't find anything that says it is, but... A little coffee machine. Some things on the shelves. I really did my best to go back and um, lighten everything up. Because I think originally I made everything just a little too dark. And it was looking like evil witchy. And instead of a uh, fairy which is really what i was going for over here i think i had the pottery um station from the pottery mod and it wasn't working over here i think it's because of these flowers up there but i didn't really want to move the flowers and i would really have to move probably all this stuff so i just moved the pottery wheel and put a chair there instead here's um taraji i think i've changed her name a couple of times but i think i'm gonna stick with taraji uh, let's have her continue to work on that. Oh, you're really tired. After that, you can go to sleep, I swear. Okay, I haven't downloaded the fairy mod quite yet, but I'm excited to download it and see what that's all about. Got some plate decorations. There's a lot of detail on those. Those are really pretty. And here they have their dining room. I think I had a chair right here by the door, and that didn't work. Uh, I probably could have foreseen that have this right there but there is another chair Ooh. it is kind of a uh, tight spacing um but there is another chair behind here um usually i have to have people like sit at this chair first and then like move them into that place so if anybody if they need this spot i'll just have to like put a table there and probably even move this but i won't do that now all right let's go around She's so pretty. Okay. And then out here. Have like this is where I moved the little pottery wheel. I think it looks alright there. Got this I don't even know what this is, but I thought it looked cool out here. It's still raining, of course. Oh, I wonder if you can see their little oh yeah, they have their little garden going. I don't want them to have like too big a garden, but a couple of plants out here. There's a little bird thing over here. And they have like this fireplace, which I really like this. I really like the way this looks out here. The outdoor fireplace. And then over here. Uh, this is a set piece from the Get Famous pack. I think one of the debug items must be like some sort of, oh yeah, they have their little, I probably need to flatten the train out here, but this is where they're gonna do laundry. And I just really like the way this looked. I thought it added like <laughs> this beautiful masterpiece over here. I just really like the way this looked. This idea of like a abandoned ruins library, outdoor library. Um, I'm probably gonna need to put some books out here too. I want it to be like just a nice little cute library sort of thing happening. Oh, and then like all their painting items. Let's see, you go back inside. And this is, it's such tight spacing that it is a little difficult. You would have to play with the house, the walls down for sure. Okay, this is their little upstairs, just another little cozy area. I really like the way um, all the herbs, because they can pl pluck herbs from these little pots. So I really like the way that turned out. And there's the loom, another mod. I mean, if there's a crafting mod, it's going in my game. I had a... Uh... Oh, that's so weird. Where'd it go? Oh, there it goes. I had the telescope over here, uh, but it didn't work over here. So I just put the other loom over here. So two looming, two separate looming mods. And I have both of them. This little secret door. I really like how that looks. Secret door into a bathroom. Well, a couple of medieval items. It's gonna be off the grid. It's probably gonna be. It's not as um, medieval and cut off from the world as some of my other households. I mean, they're fairies. I can see them kind of like living in between worlds, pretty much. Oh, is this just floating? Oh gosh, that's really like 
<laughs> That's really messing with me. Okay. And, uh... Oh, gosh. On this floor, too, is the bedroom. But I don't know if I'll be able to get here, get there from here. Yeah, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Yeah. This is... Uh, which one's... Oh, yeah. This is Alberta's bedroom. So, basically, you would be down here in the little shop, the wood shop, and then go up this ladder here. There we go. And then she goes down this hallway. She goes down this hallway, turns this corner. I think she was sleeping earlier. Oh yeah, I saw her walk by in her underwear. I don't know where she went though. This, this is her bedroom. Um, I usually like things in my lots to be um, usable. This mirror is not usable. Oh, I love the way these little um, rainbow sprites are like, whatever they are, rainbow fireflies look in here. So nice. Got a little frog. I love all the bit bits of nature in here. Oh, somebody's sleeping here. This is um, Tyan, though. I don't know why he's sleeping in her bed. I am debating on making them all polyamorous. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, this mirror, they can't use this mirror because there's too much stuff in front of it. Which is fair. But over here... I just put another mirror just in case I want <laughs> to use a mirror in this room. Um, I did put another one over here. And, oh, and I really like the way this um, brick wall turned out from El, the El Salvador pack, a uh, jungle adventure pack that looks really good. Okay, we're gonna cheat again. Let's go up. Let's go back over here. All right. We got some Nora little buggies and those little glass jars that I love. I made a little vanity over here with the mirror. With some jars of homemade cosmetics and the little papers. I think it looks like really poetic and really pretty. This little separator in here. I really also like the way this rug looks against this purple. The green and the purple together. And then there's the Realm of Magic thing, uh, little potions and bottles, um, some books, and a suitcase. Uh, I can't remember if that's like a, a Sims item or a CC item. I can't tell anymore. Over here, got some paintings and all the flowers. Some like mushrooms and stuff. This room is probably like my favorite. The mirror wall behind here. Oh, I love it. Alright, these doors. And this door is like is gonna be always open, which is nice. I see them as very much one with nature, you know. Got some more plants over here. Um, our little chess table. Um, this is where I moved the the medieval microscope to, and I liked it in front of like this little table too, with like more items. And then over here. We have Tyene's room. Um, I decided to like make this huge thing of books and really make it like... Those would be ginormous books, but I just thought it would be cool. Effect. I just thought it would be cool. I like the way it looks. It, it adds a little bit of whimsy, I feel like. And I put a bunch of instruments and stuff in his room. I think I'm gonna have him play a bunch of instruments and practice singing. But then we have like some other little odds and ends in here. Lots of plants everywhere, of course. And I really like this window in here too. This harp, this harp isn't playable, but I've put it in a lot of builds so far. I think it's really beautiful. The globe and the bookshelf. Alright, let's go back downstairs. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, and the pool. Here's the pool. I don't- I kind of hate how this pool looks. I don't know, I just put some lily pads. There's fish in the pool. I don't- I'm not sure how I did that. I didn't even know you could do that. There's fish in here. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I don't know if I was like that creative with this pool. But it's okay, I'll probably like barely ever see it. And maybe I'll think of something as I'm playing them. Alright, I feel like I did something else out here. There's definitely like a lot of um, fairy lights and I think I put a couple of like bird things. There's some rabbit homes in places as well. Um, I really like this wall of leaves. It doesn't stand out too much to me. And on the other side are these cars. So in my head there's like a little force field here that like like to regular people in these cars like there's nothing here um but to magical people you could probably just like walk through these brushes basically and then uh, like enter into a magical wheelbarrow no a magical world basically and i think that's everything um yeah that's the entire lot um, i'm excited so excited to turn um to download the fairy mod and i've seen a couple other let's plays with it i don't i'm not gonna do a fairy let's play but is this attached? I think that is attached. These lights are attached to the tree. It just looks like it's not. I'm not going to do Let's Play with it. I'll probably do a video exploring the mod with the way that I play. But yeah, I think that's everything. Like if you want, comment if you want, and subscribe if you're about that life. Peace!